I'm not saying don't rap how you rap, my nigga, but make some shit we can vibe to. Sounded like a real nigga anthem. Charlie saw my wallet, now she think a nigga answer. Whoa, tell that bitch she wanted me to hammer. Trying to get saved, baby, I am not the answer. No. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I just woke up. Um, if you're new here, um, my name's Ashley, and welcome. So today it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm gonna drop off the Hellcat for tint. It already has tint, but I'm getting 5% ceramic. And then right after, I'm gonna go pick up my friend's car, Jared, and his stinger, his red orange stinger. I'm gonna wrap um, his like window trim and stuff like that, and his B pillars with carbon. So that's gonna be fun. It's times like these that I actually use the black key. It's the only time I ever use it. It's early, but it's not five in the morning early. <laughs> I totally use, uh, to, oop, totally could use my GoPro, but I have a pop socket and a pop socket mount, so I get all kind of makes sense. <laughs> My long lost long version brother. Wow. It's not even focusing. The windshield's too dirty. <laughs> oh, he just got in it. I want to hear it. Oh, never mind. Okay. Wow, McDonald's. Scary. <gasps> I'm gonna put my money for you. I think I'm falling asleep more because I'm taking cold showers. Wouldn't it be the other way around? Because cold showers are supposed to wake you up. Oh. Then I'm also taking the showers like right after I go back from work. I don't know about that man. I don't do those cold showers. It's pretty comfortable. Sounds like spicy but like in the reverse way. Thank you, have a good day. You too. Ah, yes. I got a spicy chicken biscuit with cheese. And I got a spicy McGriddle without cheese. <laughs> I don't like dairy that much in my sandwich. I love getting this from Burger King, like their breakfast, with onion and cheese and mayonnaise. No Burger King. That's what I used to breakfast. get there when I worked there in the mornings. What? No Burger King's still on breakfast, right? Yeah, but that's true. I should have probably... Oops. There she is. Okay. I have now been handed over the stinger. This is so cool. Super, 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 super cool. It's nice in here. I like it. There goes El Hermano <laughs> staring at nothing. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Well, shout out to Jared for trusting me with his vehicle. What is he doing? <gasps> okay, I have to adjust my seat because I'm a woman and tiny. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna need to adjust the mirrors in a second. Where's the button? Oh, it's Darth Vader. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm gonna like that. And that's fine. Adjust my seat a little bit. Just this again. Okay, we're good. Okay, 
she's in the garage. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove the old vinyl, and then I'm going to inspect everything, make sure I know how I'm going to do it, and then we're gonna do it. So before I do it, we're going to clean underneath. Oh, I wonder how that's gonna be. Should be all right. So he said that this was a kit. I'm pretty sure he said, like, just stickers. So, yes, we're gonna use knifeless tape. Oh, it's chrome underneath, okay. Oh yeah, this isn't vinyl, like, traditional, like, you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. Cause if it was, I would probably would have had to, oh, reheat and then peel because it would have been more difficult to remove. Oh, got one side off and this was actually put on pretty nice. It's like tucked over here. It's not perfect, but it's pretty good. Why would Kia do this? Put chrome with black B pillars. Like, uh, LOL. So, when, I, when I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna tuck the ends into the seal and we're gonna see how that goes. Comes off real easy, it's warm still too. The tools I'm using today, so to wash it, I'm just gonna clay bar it with diluted soap and then I'm gonna wipe off with isopropyl alcohol. I think this is 70%, I don't remember. Then I have knifeless tape, my blade, a squeegee with felt on it, or suede, and then I have like these um, vinyl trim tool type of things and my heat gun. So I sprayed everything with... Oh, I accidentally put rubbing alcohol. Okay, I just sprayed the soapy water and I'm just gonna... I use like, um, I think this is Meguiar's, I don't remember. I like it though, it's a clay bar thing and it's reusable, you could wash it, stuff like that. So on this B pillar, I think it's on both of them, they have this side here that needs to also be wrapped. And then I'm also gonna get in between the seal and the finisher up here, cause there will be dirt trapped in there. Okay, this one's good. Aside from just getting inside the seal in here. I'm gonna get in here after I do all four. Okay, it's all clay barred. Now I'm going to take this little piece out right here with this this tool with the skinny bit. I think I got these from Metro Restyling, I'm not too sure. Or even uh, Luxado, I think. I think it was Luxado. Try to take this out. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's still a little piece in there. Oh, that's the seal. Yeah, I think that's the seal from the inside. That's fine. We'll just... There we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take, let's see, this flat square one, and I'm going to use a towel, wrap the towel around it, and then I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol to get in between the seal and try to get all the dirt out of there. So I'm going to have it like this. Hopefully I can get in there pretty well. And I'm gonna give it a nice breathe uh, over my wrist wraps. And essentially, we wanna get in here, but it's probably a little difficult. But, oh, I can get in there actually, kind of. Like just a little tug. See all that dirt? That's just right here. That's gonna help the vinyl adhere and last longer because there won't be any dirt rip, um, preventing it from staying down. And I'm gonna give it a nice breathe uh, over my wrist wraps. And essentially, you wanna get in here, but Probably a little difficult. But, oh, I can get in there actually, kind of. Like just a little tug. 
See all that dirt? That's just right here. That's gonna help the vinyl adhere and last longer. You guys can see, oh gosh. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see it. When I get in here, I'm going directly under the seal. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am under as I'm going down. This doesn't damage the seal or anything. And look at all that dirt that's coming out. That is a lot of gunk. So I find it easier using the corner of it. So that's right here. Just go in here. And go all the way down. Look at that. I also used on the B pillar this red one to gently peel back right here just to open it up a little just so I can get in there and get all the dirt out. Get all the dirt out. There wasn't much. Now I have a third clean towel. This is my towel that I'm going to be using for when I completely clean the surface with the alcohol. So this door is done. I'm going to repeat that on the rest of the car. Just finished the other side, but now I'm going back and doing the under, the bottom part of the seals. There you go. Try to zoom in here. I should use my GoPro. It's probably dead though. So I'm just going like this. You guys can tell. I'm going to show you guys this. So I'm literally in between, oh my gosh, the seal and the chrome. Go all the way down and look at all that grossness. So here's the vinyl, the carbon vinyl. I'll put the actual name of it on the screen. I forget which one it is. This is in the sun. And compared to his carbon tail here, whatever this is, it's not too far off. Looks pretty good. Okay, it was getting disgustingly hot in here, so I, t I closed the garage. I have cut everything out. I have extra right here from the shapes that I cut out. I have everything laid out where it's gonna go. I just tape this off right here. I'm gonna use the knife down here. And what I really wish I had, there's like this adhesive tape thing. I forget what it's called, but you stick it inside of like window trim and then peel it back and it's like inside and it goes around it. I'm gonna try to do the same thing with this. So I'm gonna use the tools, try to like get in and then wrap it around if that makes sense. So I didn't really go how I wanted. I just lined it up along the seal and now I'm gonna clean it one last time, then apply the vinyl and then cut it. Okay, all I need to do now is cut it. It looks pretty good. All this looks good too. Ooh la la. A big tip, always use a fresh blade. I just broke mine and it cuts like butter. So I'm cutting over here in between the seal and the B pillar and I'm using the angled side, the non sharp side of the blade to rest it against the B pillar. That way I do not cut anything and I'm being extremely light. I don't have to use any pressure using this blade. Just crazy. Okay, and now for the reveal. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay, I have to stop here because I didn't realize it, but I got a text 40 minutes ago that my car's done with the tint, so I'll be back. All right, I'm back. The tint came out amazing. And it's way better now. It's like way cooler in the car, which is awesome. But anyways, back to what I was doing. I just need to cut this little piece off and then clean up in here. And this piece is done after I post heat. Okay, for my first piece, it came out amazing. Literally can't really complain about anything. There is a tiny wrinkle up here. And then it ripped down here. I tried to get it to go down all the way. I think I'm just gonna put a piece there. Hopefully I can get the pattern to match perfectly. Okay, left side B pillars are done. I'm gonna do these and I don't really have Way to set the camera up because I want you guys to watch too. Okay, I made a contraption. I hope my camera doesn't fall because it's the heaviest thing on this whole thing. Everything else is just so light. Anyways.
Okay, I'm redoing this. It it came out perfect, like the, it would even lined up with the rear B pillar, but I cut it a little too short. Okay, I'm all done with the bead pillars and this side matches up perfectly. Okay, I just finished, it's all done, and it looks pretty good. So it's time for me to give his car back now because I'm dropping it off back at his work where I got it and they're gonna close soon. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.